In this video, I want to show you where the equation of a plane comes from. In the last video, we went through some of the basics about planes and showed you how to use the equation, but we didn't really talk about where it came from or why it was true or why, you know, why this actually represents an equation of a plane. So here we go. What, what I want is uh, to get an equation so that if you try any x, y, z uh, ordered triplet uh, point that's in the plane, it would make the equation be true. And then if you tried an x, y, z ordered uh, triplet that was not in the plane, the equation would not be true for those x, y, z values. So I need to find something that's unique or special about all the points in the plane that are not true for points that are outside of the plane. So here's, here's what that special property is. Uh, if you have some point in the plane, which we'll call, uh, we'll call this point right here, we'll call it point P, let's say, and we'll identify it as X naught comma Y naught comma Z naught. Um, any vector from P to, we'll call it Q, any vector, which I'll, I'll draw a few samples here, from P to any, any other point inside the plane, like this vector or this vector or this vector, all of these guys would be orthogonal to the same vector. Look at all these guys here. Do you see one vector that would be orthogonal to all of these guys? Hopefully you said something kind of like this. This is not the only vector, but this is one vector at least that all these guys would meet at a 90 degree angle. And you'll notice that if you tried um, drawing a vector from P to a point that's not in the plane, let's say like up to here, would that vector be orthogonal to N? No, it wouldn't. Or how about below the plane like this? Notice that vector would not be orthogonal to N. Only the vectors that are in the plane would be orthogonal to N. So what we're gonna do is let's, let's define a point Q. We'll, we'll say Q is X comma Y comma Z. And if Q is actually in the plane, what you would expect to happen is that PQ dotted with N, that should give you zero. And what, where I'm getting that from is if you remember a few videos back, there was a, uh, when we were learning about dot products, there was a, a test that said if two uh, vectors, when you take their dot product, if you get zero, then they have to be orthogonal. And if you take their dot product and you don't get zero, then they're not orthogonal. So if Q really is in the plane, you would expect that PQ dotted with N, you should get zero because you can clearly see that, that they're all orthogonal. And that wouldn't happen for one of the orange vectors that I have drawn here from P to a point not in the plane. So this is what we're gonna exploit, this unique factor about uh, vectors that are in the plane. And, and in fact, we can actually unpack how to write this. So let's, let's do this, let's say vector N, let's actually write that as a vector, we'll call it vector ABC. And we know what P is, P is X naught, Y naught, Z naught, and we know what Q is. So let, let's see if we can unpack all of this. So PQ, we can write that as a vector in component form. You remember how to do this from a few videos back. You would take terminal minus initial. So the ith component would be X minus X naught, comma Y minus Y naught, comma Z minus Z naught. And again, if, if Q is actually in the plane, you would expect this guy to be orthogonal to N, which means we can dot it with the vector ABC and expect to get zero, only for points Q that are in the plane. But now we can actually write down what this dot product is. We can go a step farther. This dot product, you know, you know how to do this. You multiply each of the components and then you add the results. So you'd have A times X minus X naught plus B times Y minus Y naught plus C times Z minus Z naught and you get that equal to zero. And in fact, this should look very familiar. This is our 
equation of a plane in, in standard form. This is where this equation comes from. So, um, so hopefully that sheds some light on where this mystery equation comes from. It's actually not a mystery at all. It's just relying on the fact that vectors in the plane will all be orthogonal to the normal vector to the plane and any other vector from P to a point not in the plane won't be orthogonal to N.